Storm Tracker weather starts now with meteorologist Stephen Sullivan. Welcome back on this Tuesday morning. We're taking a look at the Great Falls Almanac heading into today. Well, we're expecting our temperatures right near that 80 degree mark, a little bit warmer than average for this time of year, but uh, about 10 degrees short of the record and taking a look right now at the poor air quality that we remain to have an effect as we just saw in the background on the ICAM. Particular areas of Western Montana under an unhealthy risk for air quality today. So be advised uh, to take it easy out there, especially those pre-existing conditions uh, and in effect until 3 p.m. today. At least we'll see if it gets extended as we head a little bit later into the afternoon. Taking a look at the satellite and radar, we do have uh, clouds in the area right now, especially in the western part of the state, and some showers uh, also near the high line. And taking a look at your current temperatures, most of us right now in the lower 50s to the lower 60s, 52 and 54 in Great Falls and the capital city, as well as up in Cutbank, 60 degrees in Haver and 55 degrees as you head out towards the Glasgow area. Let's compare that to our highs for today. Again, we're going to be seeing showers, which I'll show you in just one second, making their way through in the afternoon and evening. Temperatures in the mid 70s to the low 80s today with a high of 79 in Great Falls and down in Helena, a high of 80 and a lot of 70s nearby, especially a little bit cooler in the upper elevations with those rain showers persisting into the afternoon. So let's take a look at that timeline. As you can see, some scattered showers this morning, but it becomes a little bit more well-defined in a uh, broader band of rain as we head into the afternoon. So the chance for moderate rain showers as we head uh, throughout the rest of the uh, afternoon and evening today as we head towards central and eastern Montana, getting in on the action as we head into tonight. But we have a stationary boundary, boundary front here, which is kind of uh, allowing this rain system to kind of move a little bit more on the slower side here. And taking a look at wind gust tracker as we shift our focus to eastern Montana today. You can see gusts up to 30 to 40 miles per hour as we head into the afternoon. Well, uh, western portions of our area have a lighter westerly breeze today. Uh, so we do have the windy conditions in the eastern part of the state and we do have a lake wind advisory in effect for Fort Peck Lake until uh, tomorrow morning because of these uh, gusty winds that we're going to be experiencing out of the east. So if you are out on Fort Peck Lake today, do be advised that it is going to be rather breezy in eastern Montana. Taking a look at your low temperatures for tonight, most of us are going to be in the upper 40s to the mid to upper 50s. And again, we'll have rain slowly moving from west to east throughout the area as we head uh, throughout the overnight hours tonight and as we head towards tomorrow. Chance for an isolated shower or thunderstorm in western Montana as we head into tomorrow afternoon and evening. As far as our temperatures are concerned, most of us are going to be still uh, rather close to average, maybe a few degrees over or right at the average point uh, with temps in the mid to upper 70s. Let's take a look at the Great Falls in Helena, three to seven day forecast. As you can see, we're not only active into today's forecast, but for really the next seven days, the temperature is slowly dropping off into the uh, mid to upper 60s by the start of next week. But you'll notice another chance for a precip as we head into Thursday night and Friday morning, and then Saturday night and Sunday morning as well, even a chance for showers by next Monday as well. And taking a look at the Helena area where we're seeing more of the same there. So rain showers moving in a little bit earlier in the afternoon today for the Helena area and the rest of southwestern Montana. 77 tomorrow with an isolated shower thunderstorm in the afternoon as well as Thursday evening and then we're slowly dropping those temps into the low to mid 60s as we head into next Monday with another chance for some showers. 